Hi, and welcome to another GSC Tech Tip. Today we're going to take a look at something called Auto Transition and working with the line command. I'm going to go ahead and start a line in a sketch. Go ahead and start that line at the origin and come across along the horizontal. Capture that relationship using the click method. So I click to start my line and I will now click to end the line. As I move away from that, you'll see that we're of course drawing another line from the end of the previous line. But if I move my cursor back to the beginning and then away, I have now auto transitioned, we call it, to a t an arc tangent. Now the tangent arc command will allow me then to create an arc that is tangent to the line at the end I started from. And if I come back to the start and go out the other side, I can go in the negative x, if you will, for our tangent arc. If I go back to the beginning and then come away from the line and then over, now I get an arc that is normal to the line. Or another way to look at it is the center of the arc is on the line itself. Move down to that start, come out the other side. And so what we're having here are eight different possibilities depending on how I come away from this point. Following along the line and then away will be an arc tangent in one direction or the other. Positive x, positive y, positive x, negative y, negative x, positive y, negative x, negative y. Or, again, come back to the beginning and come away from the line instead of along it, and you get the normal arcs. And again, four different options for that. You can also auto-transition by hitting the A key on your keyboard. If I hit A and then move my cursor just a little bit, We've now auto transitioned from the tangent arc back to the line command. And if I hit A again, move my cursor a bit afterwards, transition back to the arc tool. And the idea is that you can draw a lot of shapes in CAD using line and arcs tangent or normal. And so simply by using mouse movements and the A key where necessary or where desired, I can create a lot of geometry without, quote, picking up my pencil. Hope you enjoyed this quick tech tip using the auto transition function of our SOLIDWORKS line command. See you next time.